What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, back with another tarot card reading for you guys. Today, finally get a chance to do some work. I was outside early this morning with the children as they were boarding their school buses, and it just it was a torrential flash flood here. Always happens here in South Florida. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it's after uh, afternoon time, so finally get a chance to put together some readings for you guys. A few shuffles. So we did air signs and fire signs a few days ago. We'll be doing water signs today, earth signs as well. Kind of in tune with it. I mean, we just had rain, water, and a flash flood. And then, of course, we have all the green abundance around us. The animals uh, don't really care about these types of things, man. They're out here, butterflies, the birds and the bees. The birds, are, the crows are actually copying me right now. They see me sitting under trees, like the tree is really low. Like the tree, like I have to bend down to get under this tree and it's wet out here. So I just put like, I brought a blanket out here to sit on the blanket. So yeah, and they see me under the tree and now they're flying under the tree to see what I'm doing. <laughs> so funny. All right, so we have Pisces. Let's see what we have for you today, Pisces. Been shuffling for like the past 10 minutes. So grounding you today. And make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, add value to the channel so we can continue to grow. We have the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Someone very creative and passionate, very headstrong, uh, very strategic and intelligent individual. Uh, high spirituality and sex drive as well. Um, we have uh, an initiator. All right. Someone with star quality. We have the star major arcana. Aquarius. Makes sense why aqua. All the water that just splashed down on us this morning here in South Florida. <laughs> Celebrity moment. Uh, spiritual insights, channeling and whatnot see what else we get here the eight of wands yeah definitely putting in uh, putting in a lot of effort at this time eight of wands eight symbolizes of course uh, our ability to stay consistent you know the uh, the eight does not have any open I guess areas in it when you look at the shape of an eight of an eight there's like no literal straight lines it's like two circles closed off when we think of how the when the wheel was created, we started to gain a lot of traction here as the human species. So this is great abundance here. You can see the whirlwind getting caught in the eye of the tornado. So you may be working a lot, being consistent, maintaining um, some form of a spirituality, uh, maybe even quick movement as well. Could be um, working out mm, your spiritual thoughts as well. With Major Arcana, the star, you have Two of Pentacles, some type of balancing act. My situation here, I'm trying to balance out um, channeling my spirituality that I take very serious. Eight of Wands, repetitive efforts. Sometimes this is my sex card, but this could be uh, a gym workout as well. Could be a race or some form of physical activity. <laughs> Quite draining here. You can see her face. <laughs> This is more likely uh, what you're trying to get to here. A seamless, um, visionary stream of consciousness, uh, pouring water into the ethers or receiving maybe some type of rain therapy I'm getting as well. Maybe need to uh, go on some type of spiritual bath. This is Two of Pentacles. Pentacles symbolizes the earth plane, our tangibles, our monies, things that we hold valuable. This is some sort of a balancing act, maybe trying to balance business ideas. Or balance different uh, business relationships and partnerships, associations and whatnot. Maybe your finances, you're trying to develop your finances. Figuring out the do's and don'ts of maybe some type of new endeavor that you're undertaking at this time. You're in your manifestation, you're trying to manifest at this time or you're trying to be strategic is what the imagery is saying. But with the King of Wands energy, you are very active at this time. You pretty much created this whirlwind tornado. Pisces what else we have here the knight of wands okay so your efforts have been slowed down a bit maybe you've been affected by the weather maybe you've been affected financially definitely a balancing act here 
you can see the person channeling, uh, trying, to, trying to pull the energies uh, from above and channel them into the earth plane. Typically on the original Rider Waite tarot deck, you will see the star one foot in, one foot out of the water, trying to uh, bring the water or channel the water uh, onto the land. Same thing we see here. You're trying to bring the energies from the uh, out of the ethers and ground them, bring them into the earth plane. You're trying to grab these pinnacles. Could be starting a financial journey as well. Maybe starting, um, when we think of pinnacles, that's business hacks, um, some form of a self-development. Uh, could be learning to um, the stock market I'm getting here. Aquarius deals in the ethers, the internet, the air, the unseen. So you could be investing at this time. Could be a day trader with all this movement here and all the strategic effort. Someone may be coming in to give you some additional ideas maybe here. We're also getting the Hierophant, another major arcana, some type of spiritual guru, leader, professional. Typically it's in regards to uh, religion or spirituality, like some type of preacher or pastor or a form of a teacher, some type of specialist a guru or whatnot. They're giving you a second opinion. So you could be dealing with a financial guru at this time. Two major arcana here. The star, which is Aquarius. And then we have the Hierophant here, which is Taurus Sagittarius energy. The Hierophant is very spiritual and very disciplined. So Taurus is very disciplined and uh, the Sagittarius uh, is actually spiritual. Both the Hierophant. You have numerology. See what other message we're getting here, Pisces. We're getting Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, definitely um, taking action toward building some type of foundation, working on your finances, building stability. This may be even a move as well. I'm getting a disruption here, physical disruption. So there's gonna be quick movement, maybe traveling as well. So maybe you could be uh, switching up homes or going on some type of spiritual vacation or retreat here with the higher font. Often showers are very relaxing. I, I'm guessing showers are relaxing for Mother Earth as well. This could be seen as a shower or some type of spiritual reflection. When we look down at the waters, we can see our uh, reflection. Maintain proper guidance. Uh, balance your ideas. Create some structures. Uh, narcissist killed himself when he was looking in the mirror too much and looking in the, his reflection too much in the water, uh, trying to... Um, pay too much attention to itself or overlooking itself being arrogant in some ways all right Pisces one more we have the tower so yeah definitely a destruction of some sorts maybe in regards to your finances or your home structure there may be a move evident here or imminent someone may be coming in to offer you some type of financial gift as well again a hierophant May not be literal monies, but may be some type of form of uh, spiritual self-help or development as well. But these are your messages for today. The tower is uh, Scorpio energy. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio. We have the star major arcana, which is Aquarius. And we have the Hierophant, which is Taurus as well. So uh, make sure you check your full birth chart. Get a full understanding of your sun, moon, and rising sign so that you can take advantage of these uh, energies around you at this time. Someone's trying to deliver a message of finance, some type of spiritual training or financial training. Maybe uh, great difficulty ahead in regards to the tower card. But like, share, comment, subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Be safe, Pisces.